Hi everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be designing a column of this structure using both methods, the required and the provided one. So the first step in our designing process is selecting one column. Let's select this one, for example, and then go to design. From required reinforcement of beams and columns, select code parameters and from here you can either choose this one or create new one from here from here choose column and here backlink with respect to y axis member length ly it should be in axis that means between axis or real if you have uh, if you have the real value of that length you can uh, import it here or if there is a coefficient uh, multiply to the original length you can choose this one but this time we choose in axis then backlink length coefficient from here uh, to, uh, uh, this value can be chosen from here the backlink scheme representing the column that we have selected is the one that is in this corner and as you see we have two ways to identify we have two ways to specify the desired columns uh, or beams uh, we have from structure or manual this time we use manual and select the column this one to see its properties we see it's uh, This column is CR30 uh, by 70 and its length is 3 meters as shown here. And this beam, sorry, and this beam is uh, BR25 by 50 and its length is 5 meters. You can input it by your hand. Then OK and here we have buckling length coefficient name it as anything uh, for example this one and from here you have additional parameters if you want to change anything but no need to change anything right now then save them and close then select the column that you want to apply these parameters on and then select your parameters then apply then close it go back to design and from here go to calculation parameters from here create new one and name it as column column one Concrete can be specified from here, but uncheck this one and choose the one that you want, or leave it as it is to choose the default material. Um, if the concrete was lightweight concrete, uh, concrete, choose this one, select this one, and specify the percentage of sand. Uh, from here, we choose grade R, and uh, Uh, select the diameter of uh, of the reinforcing bars this time we choose uh, for example 18 cover 5 centimeters that's enough and for uh, stirrups we choose grade R also a uh, number of reinforcing sections 3 and type of bars uh, 10 Number of legs, we make it four, and incl uh, inclination ninety. That's enough. Then save it. Then select the column that you want to apply these settings to, and apply. Go back to design, and from here go to calculations. Loading cases can be specified from here. 
we have only combination one which is uh, ULS and number of calculations uh, calculation point points we have three then calculate we go to results um, RC design and RC members require reinforcement from here we have columns as it shown here this is um, the number of column these are the details of the reinforcement okay go back to structure model geometry and now we design using the provided reinforcement of RC elements we select manual combinations and okay we did calculation options from here one standard from general um, you want this one to be average reinforcement of the optim optimization level and uh, from here concrete 25 uh, aggregate type it's okay and from uh, longitudinal reinforcement we want uh, grade R and vice 18 and 20 and for stirrups we want only 10 save that as column one then okay after that go to reinforcement pattern and uh, corner bars uh, they should be auto intermediate bars uh, you have the option uh, to make them uh, the same as corner bars or you can change them from here Phi 18 for example and this one Phi 20 uncheck this box and all tied we have here the maximum number of bars in bundles when we don't have enough spacing between bars we select this option to make them in bundles some codes allow you to make two and some some of them make uh, allows you to make three and the others allow you to make four uh, okay that's okay and this is the spacing of uh, stirrups we select this section and this one is auto and from shapes okay that's okay that's enough then save it as column 1 and okay then calculate from here As it's shown here, this is the reinforcement uh, details of this column. This is the cross section of this column. We have four bars, four main bars of uh, 20 in diameter, 20 mm in diameter. Go to RC design or from story one this column double click it and you would see the column results and this is the 3d view of this column 
and this is the cross section and this is the reinforcement table we have the main and transversal well that was our lesson for today thanks for watching if you have any questions just try them in the comments below bye